And just so you know, I have altered the audio of this video because I, I don't want to be recognized. <laughs> so if that's okay with you, please stay and listen. When I was diagnosed with Swy syndrome and therefore primary amenorrhea as well, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, I noticed that there was very little awareness of the syndrome here on YouTube. I didn't find a single Swire experience related video on here, so I decided to tell you guys my story. I always knew I was a lot different than all the other girls at school. When my classmates started to develop at approximately age 12, my body didn't show any signs of puberty. At that time, I wasn't too worried about that since, since I knew I would develop the womanly characteristics when my body felt like it. I started using a bra just because I wanted to look like a normal girl from the outside. Time went on, they all got their periods before junior high, and I still had the looks of a nine-year-old and hadn't started my period yet. A year before graduation from junior high, I got worried. I still lacked my menstruation and I hadn't developed any breasts or hips. Any breasts or hips notion. My mom had always known about me not having my period yet, but she didn't show any signs of concern at that time yet. Of course, I was worried about myself and constantly was comparing myself to the perfectly shaped girls at my school. My condition was very rough on me, and I got depressed. I didn't have anyone to talk to about what I felt. No one knew how I felt, and I knew something was seriously wrong with me. I bet I was a very sad sight to see. I only wore black clothing, I only listened to black metal or metal in general. I had black long hair and I, I had always been quite chubby, plus I had glasses, so I was a perfect individual to be picked on. The bullying got really bad and I was self-destructive. I would cut myself and I thought of suicide every single day at that time. Things got bad at home too based on my behavior because I was depressed. Well, um, when I graduated junior high and started at vocational school to study as a chef, I gained 20 pounds and I didn't have any friends there. Every night I took the bra off and looked, looked at my reflection in the mirror and I would burst into tears. I was completely flat chested and I didn't have any defined nipples either. I had no shape, I was just a fat piece of fat basically. I didn't grow any hair either in my armpits or genital area. Well, um, then happened to be that my mom forced me to go to the doctors. We went there, and the lady said, if my period doesn't start in six months, I should come again. I lost 35 pounds of weight this year, and I started living a healthier life, and I got a lot happier as well, so the depression wasn't that bad anymore. I waited for a year, and still no signs of puberty. No signs of puberty. Now, I have been in several researches, and every time the doctor was amazed. When he saw me without any clothing, he was shocked. 17 years of age in a body of a nine-year-old. He even asked me if I was a boy or a girl. That was so frustrating. I went through a lot of blood tests, and I got really frustrated of the bureaucracy of the system. I also went to be x-rayed. When the results came, the doctor finally gave me a diagnosis. And here it goes. I, it was gen I was <laughs> it was genetical. Sorry, I just wrote all of this up so I can remember everything. It was gen gen genetical. <laughs> Swire syndrome has been estimated to occur in approximately one in thirty thousand people. Swire syndrome is a condition in which individuals with one X chromosome and one Y chromosome in each cell, the pattern normally found in males, have a female appearance. People with this disorder have female external, external genitalia and a norm, normal uterus and fallopian tubes. However, they do not have functional gonads, gonads, arrays, or tests. Instead, they have undeveloped clumps of tissue called street gonads. These abnormal gonads often become cancerous, so they are usually removed surgically early in life. People with Swire syndrome are typically raised as females and have a female gender identity. Affected individuals usually begin hormone replacement therapy dur during adolescence to induce menstruation and development of female secondary sex characteristics, such as breast enlargement and body hair. 
It's almost like I'm not a girl, not a boy, but a person of the third sex. Unlike other swear sufferers, I can never have children because my uterus is so tiny and weak. That has been the worst thing to handle in all of this. I love ch children so much, and I would have been a perfect mother. I would have been a perfect mother. I know there is always a second option, which is adoption, which I will certainly go through. I would want to be a positive type of person, but honestly though, Cyrus Swire Syndrome has ruined my life. I've always hated myself because of that, and even though I'm going to have surgery done before Christmas, and I'm getting the hormones after that, it's always going to be there, haunting in the back of my head. I've ruined all of my relationships with boys so far because of telling them about my condition, and they usually don't take it that well. But if there's anyone out there, which is unlikely, living with Swire Syndrome, please let me know. I've read other people's stories at experienceproject.com, but there's only like 20 of them out there. So, um, thank you for listening, and I hope you learned something from this about Swire Syndrome, because I've been really down about all this. But I'm on my way to, um, recovery, so to speak. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all. Thanks. Bye.